So, and now I will show you what I have learned in um, technical class in school um, about, let me see, what was I, 16 years ago. So if you think that what you are learning in school is not important, then think again. Um, because this and making a realistic transformation uh, requires you to be able to calculate you, mathematics is important and some technical stuff and biolo biology, anatomy, everything just in order to make something believable and drawing a transformation just by hand without thinking well you Someone can do that, but I'm I'm going a little further. Let's see. So, first thing is that we need our um, top view will be above here. So we will need a horizontal line like that and in order I hope this was enough we need a cross starting from here say the weekend I don't know if it's enough. Let's see here. <gasps> close! <laughs> Very close! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> so! Alright. This is your setup to make a top view perspective let's start with our upper body again what again no not again no please no don't do it you go here <laughs> and you go straight up so and you make this off you don't need that again come on in you do it? Oh, it goes faster. And you do the same thing here and here. Creating a box. Wrong letter. So and this is your box and you just use um, this tool again our circle tool hmm how am I supposed to do that? right like this kinda and Not again! Damn! Can it have it? It's, it's, it's happening again! No! Well, like, I guess this is not the last time that this is happening. Um, just... Just delete those lines again. Doesn't matter. We don't need them anyway. Oop. Well, this is... Um, when you are talking and drawing at the same time then you get confused you can concentrate probably 
but I can do any everything. All right, imagine if you're doing la uh, guidelines, then use layer eleven. <laughs> <coughs> Next one. We're just using this hip. And we're using layer 11. Yes. And floop. And then this one here. And then here, when it's crossing again, we're making a horizontal line. And now I show you a trick, which is using this mirror thingy. Let's see, a little bit upwards. And now you are creating two lines at once. And then you're doing the same thing like like here. This and assistant who again and Ryan. <laughs> Oops. Right. Mm -hmm. So <sighs> exhausting. It's so exhausting. <laughs> and if you put this off, you can. Then kind of create this um, body form. Looks ugly, right? So I like to know how his leg leg is. Um, This and this is where his leg is. So we are making his leg going like that and like that. Oh, and by the way, we need our tail as well. This can easily be done if you're. Like this, damn it. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> kind of. You need to actually, you need to do this um, with this wrong button, uh, button pressing order. First, you press the V button, then you draw the line. You see, uh -huh. this line, shoot, again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Some people may say, you haven't prepared yourself enough. And I would say, now try, you try to make a tutorial in a foreign language for the first time. And this is where the tail comes off, like this. Well, and the head is um, especially complicated. Yes. Erases silver too.
you need but don't destroy the diagonal lines those are we we do need those don't need the horizontal lines right well if you if we do the head just again v you see this is not uh, a square so we hmm. need to localize the midpoint and then use our circle tool our concentric ellipse and then our assistant Now we have our head. Easy. Damn. <laughs> it's heaven again. It's heaven again. <laughs> if I would be like ten years younger, I would, I would run around and destroy everything or something like that. <laughs> right now we make a horn. See how fast that was. We just define one point. And now wait a second. I draw very ugly. So then the next thing is our snout again. This is exactly here, and then our nose and our teeth. That's confusing. <laughs> well, the um, these are the teeth, right? So we need uh, this like this, and and like this, and the nose starts here, and we now we have to delete those in order to see everything. Now we are using our nose. Now we know where this ball is. The nose ball. But we all don't know where this is. This. Oh god. <laughs> um, which is the nose ball again? This one? Right, this is how it would look like from above. Now we make the eyes again. 
and I'm drawing again on the wrong layer, damn it. Just redo it again. It's not so complicated. And then delete. Right, so. I press Q to switch the brushes. Alright, the eyes. That was fast, wasn't it? Then you just so get your. Okay, man, the horn is big. It looks extreme. <laughs> Damn. Um. Damn. The workflow is too well. If it if if um working like this is making fun, you're just forgetting the not so important stuff. Um. So let's make the cheek. Okay. Where's me? We actually didn't have to do anything. Well, this is his head. And so now comes the last thing, uh, the, yeah, the previous last thing, the neck and then the wing and that would be uh, would be all for for now. Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah. So V this and this means that you are having like this uh, this form because the view of from uh, from top doesn't reach here. This is where the I know. And then we need this, this. That's that's why you need a cross. So wait. Yes. Okay. Let's see. This is the starting point, and this is the widest point. Because the horns are in the way, you don't see anything. But this would be how the um, the neck would look like. Um, you just need to imagine how the muscles would look like. This is, this is um, actually not be drawing. It's just an orientation. This uh, is, uh, is not drawing too uh, as well. So, and I drew again on the wrong layer. It's happening all the time. Okay. The last thing is the wings. That was the wrong. But you see how fast this goes, and and actually, this is it. This is how this three-point perspective 
is made. You can make the um, shoulders up here. But actually those horns <laughs> those horns are looking way too big. I may I must have I have made a mistake probably the the size. Um let's see here. Mm -hmm. All right, wait. That yeah, was wrong. <laughs> Come on, I don't want to sit here all day. That was correct. All right, so now you know how, why they are, and. Like that, they uh, then they are not so not so big. Right, it's actually better. It's clumpy horns. So, but I've just shown how this is made. Doesn't take very much time. And I've already created it. And this is how it turned out. You see, <laughs> he has a different face. The horns are, uh, are tilted a little bit in a different way. Go away. Uh, those cheap ones here. See his face is different than hi than his. <laughs> um, it just um, depends on how, where you put the eyes and such. Well, let me see which one do I like better. I actually like his face a little better than his. I think his eyes are a little bit too narrow. Kind of. Well, okay. So, however, if you have created your model sheet with those circles and oval circles, then you can start to collect data. This is important. Collecting data. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Collecting data is important because you do n do have to know how big every single object from here is compared to the head here. So if I would look at the head size, it's it's up kind of I don't know. Use my fingers a little bit more than three times the size, a little bit more than three times the head size. And I remember that uh, that I said that the size of the head of a human is only the I mean the chest size is only two times bigger than the human head. So you see. 2 becomes 3.3 3 period. And these values you need to write those down, every single one. Mm. This, this and this, uh, 3 axes. You need the width, the height and the length. Length, height, width. Right, so you have these three values, and I and I rec recommend that you are um, 
creating a, a so-called spreadsheet. I have it here. Don't be scared. Just these are just a lot of numbers. This is the program LibreOffice. It's op also open source, also like Krita and Blender, which I'm using as well. Here you see those orange Blender logos blurred. So, I have made everything already, and so I can show you just quickly how to calculate them via this spreadsheet then. So first of all we need our body part. Let's see which one do we take. <laughs> right we, we just take this example upper body. Upper body and we take our two two head sizes I am always referring to the head size and then we are using a percentage zero percent and then wait ten percent and then we are using both and making them to one hundred percent and writing down three point three three this is the size of the dragon the, the um, length of it or in case of human the height but you need to uh, remember that the x is always the same so I show you now the formula to automate this so first thing is you write an equals I think that it's called equals then you need to click here because you w we want to have 10% of this so that we have we need a difference 333 mm, three, three, and 2 what is 133 three, and we want to divide it by 10 so that every 10% one tenth is added to the to the two and their um, solutions so we made this minus and click here and then we are writing brackets because point calculation before um, line calculation <laughs> dividing by 10 so this is not uh, enough you need to tell it that this is added to the two. If this value is lower than this, then you need to make a minus here. And then you press enter, and you get 2.133, and then you just get go over there. And I made a mistake, damn it, where is it? <laughs> ah, I, I remember, right, right, right. I need to add a dollar sign here and here so that the values are uh, not th they are not changing now you see it's adding As you see L to B2 L to B2 L to B2 uh, but here D2 E2 F2 G2 and this is how his upper body size grows and this you can do this with every single uh, every single value. This is exactly what I did here. I just typed in the value of the head. This is the head size in centimeters, all right? 16 foot, not the whole head, the circle. And I typed in 100% of the dragon head centimeters. And I made this 1% difference because I am making my transformations with clothes cloth ripping and I want to know at which point exactly <coughs> damn <laughs> the clothes are ripping off for example 
uh, the sleeves when he wears a t-shirt made of cotton rips at 48 percent right oh wait a minute i change wait a second 52.8 now i need to look sleeve Ermel. <laughs> oh no it's wrong <laughs> okay it's it's 40 52 50 damn okay, it's 52, 52 so we are 52.8 so at 74 percent his arm uh, destroys the sleeve for example and cotton I found out uh, that cotton has a stretch value of 20 percent Denim, for example, has uh, has almost no stretch value, maybe two, three percent, and you know these um, um, sh shirts from the Hulk TV series with, with David Banner. Every time he th these shirts really don't have very much stretching ability, so they're just ripping off almost instantly. This is what it makes so interesting. <laughs> So these values, it looks confusing, that's why I take colors to make the overview better. Okay. What I'm going to show you first. <coughs> 